The controllers and the controlled. There's a vast conspiracy, guys. There's people out there. Want to control us? There's secret societies, secret handshakes, and ceremonies, and rituals, and kill people in private. Yeah. No, but really, it's a serious issue. <laughs> I, um, want to discuss this topic because I find it to be very important. So um, I want to talk about people who control and people who are allowing themselves to be controlled. And I want to say that while the onus to change is on the controllers. If the controlled were to change, the controllers must also change. The way that works is that you do not listen to your fear. You move forward and find your passion in life. You'll notice I didn't say resist. You'll notice I didn't say rebel. You'll notice I didn't say protest. Now, finding the truth is an excellent endeavor. Few would argue with that. In fact, the only people that would probably argue with The intention of discovering truth are people who want the truth to be hidden. Now that probably falls under two categories. There are people who are kind of at the top, so to speak, who benefit directly from having the truth hidden. And there are the people who are too afraid. And in their own way are supporting the people at the top. So, yes, I would not advocate protesting. I would not have advocate rebellion, resistance. You might find this funny to hear from a crazy, unshaven, unkempt, 32-year-old homeless man living in Chicago. But I'm going to say it. The answer is love. The answer is always love. The answer is always truth. Now, none of us have a monopoly on love. The way to love 
is a process of growth, wisdom, understanding. A baby won't know how to put together a Lego set. A three-year-old cannot be entrusted with building a house. An engineer can't necessarily be trusted. I'm trying to look for a good analogy here. Uh, cooking a five-star meal. So love is a process. We can't expect to be perfect overnight and we can't expect to know what to do immediately we have to love ourselves we have to love everyone around us why am i saying this because I'm saying this because um there's a lot of people that believe that anger is the way there's a lot of people that want to find someone to blame, someone to imprison, someone to put away for the sake of those things, someone to take revenge on. And I don't believe that's how love operates. I believe in forgiveness. I say that, but I don't always forgive. I hold grudges, and that's my imperfections. But when it talks, when it comes to things like the flat earth, yes, we've been duped. Yes, we've been deceived. Yes, there are media agencies that put out a lot of information that is false and people don't question it and uh, someone is responsible for this deception But I just want to highlight in this video that I believe the best path, the same path, is the path of love, the path of forgiveness. And that doesn't mean that you won't have anger, that doesn't mean that you won't be scared um, you may go through moments of paranoia you may have moments of outrage but I think it's incumbent on everyone to own their own emotions and that's a very difficult thing to do initially So I'm not perfect, and this video isn't perfect, and my delivery is not perfect, but uh, that's what I have to say, and thank you for watching.